So for safety reasons, the first thing that we need to do is remove things. And if you have earrings as well, remove them. Any long hair, please, in a ponytail, so it's safe, you don't get cut. So these are the uh, plaster molds that we did on the other video. And now I'm going to get, uh, get them ready um, to cast um, plaster uh, um, Paris as well. So um, originally I was thinking on, on showing you how to cast um, polyester resin, which at the end is the same exact same method. Uh, but I just don't want to waste too much uh, resin right now. This volume is too big. So just for, for practical purposes to show you how to prepare molds and cast uh, liquid into, into a mold, um, I will do it in plaster Paris. So as I said, the process is exactly the same no matter what, what are you casting. Um, first of all, we need to prepare the molds with uh, wax. Um, same thing as before, um, put one layer of wax let it dry and then um, remove excess and then repeat. Put wax, let it dry and remove excess at least three times. And I have here as well a solution of um, soap, the, you know, classic hand wash soap with a little bit of water um, that I will use for the final, um, the final uh, layer of protection. And it's important not to do just the volume of the object but also um, obviously the channel, the, the cone where the liquid will go in, but also around here, because you never know when may some, some uh, um, uh, of the uh, liquid will flow into the, the uh, union of the two molds, and that will get our molds uh, glued together. So we have to do all this, and the cone for um, uh, pouring in the material, and that's pretty much it. Then it's preparing the material, preparing the, the plaster in this case, and just pouring in it. So that's it. That's so I finished the uh, wax layers and I also added the uh, soap layer, the watery soap. Um, so that's it, we're ready. I closed the molds with a string. Uh, you can use elastic, you can use different things. The, the important thing is that um, should be as tight as possible. So we may have leakage somewhere here. So if that happens, um, you can always use a little bit of plasticine and try to block it. Um, and that's pretty much it. If it's not working, then you will have to start all over and put more, more uh, plasticine before you, uh, you pour it in all around. Um, I have here my, my plaster. It's, this is the, uh, the powder. Um, the specific round that I'm using uh, is two, two um, amounts of powder by one of water. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. Just check the, the brand that you are using because different brands use different methods. And then just mix well and pour it and hopefully everything will be good. <laughs> Fly, fly, go, fly, go, man. So you may have noticed I didn't feel the whole cavity. Um, I'm always super um, extreme with the wasting of material. I don't want to waste material, so I'm normally short. That's what happens. But it's okay because um, it's not still set, the one that I already put in, and between what I have already in and the, mo the, the other bit that I'm going to pour, there is no wax or anything, so they're going to attach and it's going to be okay. It's not ideal because you will be probably, you will probably see a line of the um, union between these two, and the union is never going to be as good as having it in all one piece, but it's not a big issue, it's just a model, so it should be okay. So I'm gonna pour a little bit more in. There we are. Mixing well. Remember to get rid of all the the um, of the solid parts. It needs to be perfectly well uh, mixed. And I have no no um, uh, leakage. Leakage um, is holding perfectly fine which is obviously good. 
this is too thin. I think I put too much water. It's hard to measure when you're doing small amounts. I'm gonna put a little bit more plaster and then I'm gonna pour it. So this is ready. It's hard, has hardened. Um, so I had to do a, a, a second um, mix of material and added it, but it was this time it was too much. So this is exactly what I want to avoid. Uh, waste, but I still waste it. Um, so, an important thing that I always tell my students, and there is always one that or do not get it or doesn't want to pay attention. Um, so when you mix, um, obviously the bucket is going to get dirty with plaster. If you pour the entire contents of your bucket, there is no more plaster in the bucket other than the plaster that gets still, you know, gets stuck in the walls and in your hand. That, you can clean your bucket with plenty of water in your sink. As long as you have plenty of water, the plaster will dissolve and can flow through the, 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 the pipes without problem. As long as it's just what is dirty in the, in the walls of the bucket and in your hand. Um, if you still have, even though a tiny little amount of, of, of um, um, plaster in your bucket, let it dry, wait until it hardens like this, and then you just take it out like that, and this gets into the trash. Do not put, you know, important amounts of this thing, of plaster, into the sink. Please, don't do that. Okay, once it's, it's uh, hard, it's very easy just to clean the bucket by pressing like that, because the plaster is not flexible. So it will get out very easily. It will be very easy to clean your bucket. And then this goes into the trash. Okay. That being said, it's time to see if this thing worked. So I need to remember how did I nod at this? Yeah. Okay, there it is. out and very gently try to open your mold and just like before don't stress yourself let's hope that this didn't get stuck it seems that it did I'm gonna bring my mallet just like the time before wait It was rough, but I made it. <laughs> it came out. Um, I had to break a little bit of the uh, of the model in order to make a lever and leverage and pull it out. Um, this can be fixed with more more um, um, plaster, and you can just sand this and have a nice finish, and it works. It works. Now the reason why it broke, um, you can see it here how it broke. That's just in a, a little corner, it's not important. But this is the, the interesting bit. When I was taking this out, it broke like this. So what it means is that uh, the, this, this type of, of um, you know, broken piece is that the mold had a negative angle. Um, so when I extracted the piece, the piece was, um, you know, the mold was over the piece. So when I extracted the piece, uh, the, 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 the object was on top of the mold was on top of the piece, so when I extracted the mold, the, the piece, the mold broke. Um, so that's why it broke like this. Um, so when you have maybe like a figure complex like this, that you have a flat surface, a large flat surface like this, and it has also a, a small flat surface here, um, dividing this into mold may be not the best idea. Uh, it may be better to divide it in in three or four, or maybe more pieces, where you extract one mold in this direction and another mold in this direction, and then two on this, or you know, you can divide the mold in more than one part. That's that's the bit that I want you to take. Um, depending on how you will do it, you will have to define different partition lines and do the same process that we did in the other video of making this mold, but uh, in more than just two two parts, especially. 
if you're, break, if you're um, using a plaster, which is obviously very rigid and very brittle, um, it's better to go on the safe side and better have a mold that you know, is divided in three, four, five pieces maybe, and it will last longer and it will be easier to extract the pieces than doing something like, like this. Um, now, molds can be made out of um, silicone, for example, as well. It's the exact same process that, that uh, I used to do this, so I, I recommend you to watch the other video. I'll put it in the description below. Um, it's the exact same process. Instead of plaster, it's just silicone. Um, I didn't do it that way because it's, it's, um, silicone is quite expensive, and I'm uh, thinking mostly this is for my students in the, uh, in the um, university. Um, so I don't want them to spend so much money. Um, but obviously silicone is flexible and it will allow you to extract rigid pieces like this or maybe uh, also from resin way easier without uh, any, any, any problem. But maybe I can do that in another video, in another moment. For the moment, this is it.